Man, sometimes you just gotta walk away. And she helped me do it. What's poppin' y'all? Have you ever been in a situation that you wanna get out of but you don't know how? Yeah, let me tell you about it. So me and my girl wanted to hang out, but I wanted to watch the game. She suggested let's go to a bar. That way you can watch the game and we go out, we knock out two birds with one stone. Now there are different type of women in the world. Some get it, some don't. This girl get it. I just looked at her amazed with the little puppy dog eyes was like, my hero. What have you been all my life? I agree, let's go out. And I'm paying for the drinks too. You don't have to pay for nothing, baby. You didn't put me in a good mood. You just do not know. We make it to the bar, she drinking and I'm drinking. We having a good time, watching the game and everything. I don't know where the dude came from, but he came and said to the other side of my girl and offered to buy her a drink. I heard what he said. I said, yo, you gotta buy me one too, cause she with me. He said, she clearly with the wrong person, asking another man to buy him drinks. My girl eyes got big and she looked at me. She like did that slow turn and looked at me. It was like, <gasps> and I look at him. He looked like he proud of himself. Like, oh, I got him. I got her. She laughing. Clearly this dude doesn't have any friends and hang out without a bar. So I'm getting ready to say what I'm about to say. She interrupts me. She said, yeah, give me two drinks. He orders the two drinks. She slides one down to me. He says, what you doing? Making sure me and my man get our drinks. Now, thank you. I tip the bartender with your broke ass. And she turned her back on him and started talking to me. That made that dude piss. So he started calling her names and now it's my turn. I get up and, it, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and uh, the dude was pretty big. I didn't realize how big he was until he stood up. So when I got up, I'm like, yo, don't eat, I ain't gonna let you talk to my woman like that. He gets up and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. But so whatever, I'm gonna stand 10 toes down. Let's get it in. I don't care if I lose, but you're not gonna disrespect my woman in front of me. So I'm ready. So she jumps in between us, kind of separates us and then she whispered to me, babe, babe, do you think you can take it? I whispered back, I don't know. She says, uh, we can get out of here if you want. It's up to you. I got your back. So a crowd gets in between us. You got two people holding her back, and then you got a crowd in the middle, and then you got my girl on my side. And we drawing back and forth at the same time talking to my girl, trying to figure out what's gonna happen. So my girl was like, what do you wanna do? I think you should leave, it's not worth it. I mean, you fight, you can lose, you can win. I don't really care, you still going home with me? So what's the point? I was like, the point is, the point is, damn, what is the point? I mean, but he, he was calling you names. She was like, so? You don't mean nothing to me. I don't know this dude. I'm like, damn, she's right. But I was like, I can't have nobody disrespect you like that. Come on, man. She said, think about it. You get in a fight, somebody call the cops, you might go to jail. You in jail now. Now you become somebody's bitch. I said, hold on, why I gotta be somebody's bitch? Why I can't be in there running things? Why can't I make somebody else my bitch? She said, you like men? I said, no, but I'm just, you know. She said, totally irrelevant. I said, you're right, you're right. Either way, either you getting booty or you giving booty. Which one do you wanna do? I said, neither. She said, then just walk away. I said, you're right, but I gotta say something to the dude first. So I look at him and he looking back at me and I'm like, hey man, you lucky. You lucky, man. You are so lucky. You don't know how lucky you are, man. I'm protecting my booty hoe. You lucky. <laughs> he said, protecting your booty hoe? I ain't gay. I said, I don't know that, man. You lucky, man. You lucky. You lucky, man. I was about to say, because I was about to get all up in your ass. But that wouldn't have been appropriate. <laughs> yeah. I grab my girl and we get out of there. On the way out, she says, I'm proud of you. I said, for what? She said, walking away. Not letting your ego do the talking for you. I'm real proud of you. I said, man, it was the jail story that did it. I realized I don't want to sleep 24 seven protecting my ass. She said, whatever, it worked. I said, hell yeah, it did. I said, yo, on the real, that nigga was kind of big though. <laughs> she said, I know, I know. <laughs> she said, but I think you could have took him. I said, shit, we can go back in there. She said, no, let's go. But I think you could have won. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know if she was lying or not, but I don't really care. That gave me a boost of confidence. I was like, yeah, I could have taken him. It made me feel better about walking away. Most girls, you have to prove yourself to. You know, prove that you're a man, that you're tough. She didn't care about none of that. All she would care about, her safety and mine. 
Those type of women are rare. She was dope. She was really, really dope. This has been Bag Em Up. Another episode in the bag. Peace.